Hey everyone, J7Jace here, bringing you a video on when enemies scale with you in storyline fights as well as a few other optional battles. While leveling up to gain stats, new abilities, and equipment can be beneficial in most cases, there are a few situations where it can potentially make things even harder for you. I'll be going over all these said battles in Final Fantasy Tactics. In Chapter 1, while most people won't be grinding that hard on Mandalia Plains, unless you were like me in that one video, the Siege Wield's story battle is where enemies will scale with you, so be careful when leveling up or doing massive grinding before this battle. Monsters scale a lot better when leveling up compared to most human units, as you can see with their HP and physical attack. For the rest of Chapter 1, and in most of Chapter 2, we will be fine. However, at the Fenlands with the undead enemies, the pig can scale with you if it does spawn on the map. It's by far not the most deadly enemy, but it does technically, technically meaning you just shut up. scale with your party, so I just had to include it. While Chapter 3 is probably considered the hardest to most FFT players, the enemies here won't scale with you, besides the ghosts at Yugi Woods. Just not the mages. Thank god we Graf and Elmdor don't scale with us though. Moving on to chapter 4 though, this is where there are quite a few battles where enemies will scale with us. Benath Creek probably being the most infamous example, then Lake Peskos' ghosts, the Reavers at Limberry Castle Gate, the Skeleton family and knights in the battle versus Elmdor, and lastly the demons in the Zalbag fight. This wraps it up for the mandatory story fights, but there are several more optional battles where enemies will scale with you. During Beowulf's side quest, all the enemies at Golden will scale with your party's level as well as the monsters at Nobeska Temple. Just note that Construct 7 will not scale with you. Finally, the Reavers aka a pandas in the fight versus Elidibus will also scale with your party, and if you're on the War of the Lions PSP version, Rendezvous mission enemies will also be around your level. While leveling up in this game can be beneficial, and I recommend it in most cases if you're having a hard time, these are the few battles where gaining levels can potentially harm you, especially if you don't get certain abilities and equipment items. I hope this helps you out in future playthroughs of the game. Thanks for watching, and all the best to you.